Hi everyone, this is Primitive Mommy from the blog PrimitiveMommy.com and I'm going to show you how simple it is to make your very own gallon, whole gallon of liquid soap from one bar of soap of your choice. I recommend using a very good soap, an organic soap. This is Dr. Bronner's Lavender um, Castile Soap and um, this is what the actual bar looks like and what I've done is I've taken a bar and grated it here and it looks just like cheese. My son has already been asking for a taste of cheese and I have to keep telling him don't eat it. <laughs> so what we did, we I just grated it. I didn't even use my cellar shooter. I used my grater, my regular grater. And I have a, a stock pot full of one gallon of good water here that I'm bringing to a boil. And then we're going to put the, sh the shredded soap in there. And then we're going to bring it to a boil. And then we're going to let it sit for 12 hours before we put it into our jug and fill up my soap dispensers. Um, I put a nice little label on there so I'll know what it is when I put it away. Um, so uh, some of the recipes call for glycerin. I don't really want to use glycerin. I want to keep it very simple. So we're just going to do the bar of soap here. So we're going to go ahead and one-handedly put my shreds into my water. And I did pretty good there by myself. So there they are. We are going to dissolve the shreds into this water until we get them completely dissolved. Okay, so all of the soap has dissolved. It only took a few minutes. I try not to steam you out from seeing here, but um, you can see there's no little pieces of soap left. It's just basically soapy water. And it's going to look like this for the next few hours. Over the next few hours it will start to thicken up. Um, we want to just take it off the heat and leave it here for 10 to 12 hours. So that's when the changes are going to take place. So we'll show you again in a few hours. Alright, so here we have it. It's the next morning, so we've had more than 12 hours of sitting here. You can see it's nice and clumpy. And we're just going to beat it up. And I'm just beating it up. It's nice and thick now and clumpy. I'm just making it. If you have issues with it being too thick, you can always add more water. And if it's too thin for you, which I highly doubt will happen, I'm thinking the thick will probably be more. It depends on where you live, though. Um, if it's too thin, you just want to add some more soap shavings and heat it up again. So, that's it. We'll um, pull some out of there. You see, see how thick that is now? We have new hand soap, a whole gallon for the price of a bar of soap, which is usually less than a pump, hand pump full of liquid soap. So there you go. That's it. Hope you have fun making your own hand soap. Bye.